Welcome back guys, Buck Creek here. Today I'm going to show you the fishing rod pen. And this neat little creation only cost me about $8, so I bought two of them. And the main purpose of this is for hiking and survival. I bought this for brim fishing and pen fishing because I thought it would be a nice little rod to keep around. Very easy. Oh, well, the back of the pen slipped off, the pen cap. And I thought it would just be cool to show y'all. So, this is it. Nice little reel. Uh, turns decently. Has a 5 uh, 1 1 gear ratio, which is pretty nice. And has anti reverse, which is pretty cool as well. Free spool. Not too bad. The line on here isn't the best quality, but for $8, what can you expect? Uh, it will work though for when I need it to. I don't think the pinfish or the brim will be able to see it too much. And I'll be able to flick this little uh, rod here under trees and whatnot. So hopefully, you get a few more bites. But this is a cool little rod, and we're going to do an overview on it. I already put this one together, but this one down here, we're going to go ahead and put together to, and see how that works out. So first thing we're going to want to do is connect the handle. You just unscrew this black cap down here. Get that off. Put our handle in the slot we wanted to. That'll work. Take our black cap and go ahead and turn it in. Now, you may think that's a little annoying, but you can actually pull this out and turn it to the side and then screw this cap in. But we're going to go ahead and tighten it all the way up. Almost there. There we go. All right, now to have it, sweet. Go ahead and set that down. Now we have our rod here. Take the pin cap off. We're gonna go ahead and take the pin cap, put it on the back. Take this metal part up front. We're going to extend it, and you'll see where uh, your rod, the bottom tips of your rod, are actually supposed to line up. So we're gonna go ahead and squeeze the back end hold in place as we scoot the front up just kind of show you all push that back and now you have a screw here tighten it down and try to get that pretty tight so it doesn't loosen on us and then you take your rod and we're just gonna not pull it out too hard but hard enough to where we know it is going to stay out. Turn it and start extending our eyes. And there we have it. We are now ready to add our bait or our hook on there. Put our line through these tiny little eyes and go fishing. the pen fishing rod out today and we're going to give it a try we're going to check out castability things like that i'm not sure if we're going to catch anything or not because it's still a little cold and doesn't look like the fish are back just yet but might as well go ahead and test this out it's a nice beautiful day outside and fishing will start soon on here i have a small bobber with a little bit a piece of lead on the bottom maybe a quarter of an ounce something like that small treble hook and a piece of rubber that's been soaking in gold. And this is what I'd use for pin fishing and brim I'd use either crickets or something of that nature. We're gonna go ahead and cast this out. See what we can do with it. It's actually pretty good at casting. It's got about 30 feet to it. it doesn't reel too badly. No tanks or anything. You have to watch uh, the screw up top here to make sure it doesn't slip. Not too bad though. I'm going to try to go for a lower cast, brim fishing up the trees and whatnot. 
still feels pretty good. It's slip, but you gotta watch your reel, make sure it doesn't fall out, or your rod, make sure it doesn't collapse on you. Otherwise, not a little, not a bad little uh, survival fishing rod. Bendability is not too bad either. Drag. Uh, you can set it. It's not the best drag in the world, but for eight dollars, what do you expect? I suggest going out and buying one of these. Check it out yourself. Once the fish start moving around, we'll try to get some fishing videos in. If you like this, please share, like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.